All righty. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Jenica. I'm the catering supervisor for At Your Table Intuit in Mountain View. Um, today, I'm going to share with you a secret family recipe. Actually, I don't know if it's that big of a secret, but um, it is my grandma's lumpia recipe. So I'm going to share my screen, do a little presentation first. Let's see. All right, so we're going Lumpia 101 today. Um, but before we get started, safety first. Um, our safety topic today is basically just how to work with raw product, especially raw ground pork, which is what we're going to use in our Lumpia filling today. Um, so first, we want to wash our hands, obviously, clean and sanitize also the surfaces that we're going to be using. Um, also, we want to separate our raw meat. Um, and our fresh vegetables until we're ready to actually mix them all together for the filling. And then also we wanna be sure that we cook our, um, our meat thoroughly. So for the ground pork, it'll be 165 and above. Um, we wanna make sure that our meat is thoroughly cooked before we, um, we consume it. But first off, what is lumpia? So um, lumpia is a type of spring roll in the Philippines, you'd also, think of them as like egg rolls or things like that. Um, what I've noticed that's different about the fried lumpia is that the wrappers are a little bit thinner um, than your normal egg roll wrapper. So that helps give it a really nice crisp out um, exterior and it keeps the, the fillings um, nice and moist. Let me see. So there's um, deep fried versions, but there's also fresh versions. So there's three types of lumpia that I'm showing you today um, here in this presentation. So there's a fresh lumpia that has um, kind of like a crepe-like wrapper. It's filled with like lettuce, fresh veggies, shrimp, and it has kind of this soy sauce, brown sugar, um, uh, brown sugar, garlicky, sticky sauce on top. Really good. Um, I prefer the, uh, the deep fried version. So the one in the center is actually the kind that I grew up making on my mom's side. Um, she uses a filling that's already, um, already cooked. So she does ground pork and potatoes. Uh, you'll also see them with like ground beef and peas and corn and carrots, and those fillings are cooked before you wrap them in the lumpia wrapper. Um, the ones in the center, I actually double wrapped because I like it extra crispy. Um, so there's two wrappers around those. Um, the ones on the right, the lumpia Shanghai, are the ones that I'm gonna be showing you how to make today. Um, that has the raw filling, normally ground pork. Um, sometimes they have shrimp in there. Um, and this is the kind that I grew up making with my paternal grandmother. So she's actually the one that helped me make this recipe. Um, she helped me make this recipe that I'm going to show you. Um, she kind of showed me all her secrets. We did a huge batch. And I think we actually rolled about 100 or so lumpia. Um, so it was a little crazy. But that's something that my grandma and I have always shared is a love of food. and. Um, I'm happy that I got to do this with her um, and she could teach me her ways. Um, but if you didn't know, there's also a dessert lumpia. So what, I mean, anything wrapped in lumpia wrapper and fried is gonna be delicious. So the, the dessert lumpia is called turon. So it's basically a banana, um, it's a Filipino banana called saba. It's um, put inside the lumpia wrapper with lanka, which is jackfruit and it's wrapped like normal and it's fried with like a brown sugar. You can see it on the left. It has like a brown sugar glaze. It gets crystal, um, caramelized and really good. Um, and then this one's for you, Chef Ray. On the right, it's a ube um, turon. So it has the banana, but we put some, um, we put some ube halaya, which is a um, ube jam. So you put that in there. So good, delicious. Um, my favorite parts are the ends because they're nice and crispy. Um, so those are the different types of lumpia, but I wanna show you guys how to make the uh, lumpia Shanghai, which is the one that I said had the raw meat filling. So let me pull that up one second. Doo, doo, doo. Let's 
sorry, one second. Oops, not that one. All right. Okay, so we're gonna hit play. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat box and I'll answer them after.
All right, that's Lumpia. Um, some of my biggest takeaways for making myths with my grandma are, don't put a lot of meat because she'll yell at you. Um, <laughs> it's not always more meat, more better. Um, I understand where she's coming from because you wanna make sure that the meat cooks thoroughly. And if you put too much meat, um, and you're frying it, the exterior will get brown before the interior cooks. Um, and also just make it how she tells you, don't try to change it. <laughs> um, yeah, she, uh, she was like, Jenica, you're doing it wrong. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be innovative. No, just make it how grandma tells you to make it. Um, also, the recipe is gonna be posted um, on Slack afterwards. And I did a much smaller amount. So we used about five pounds of pork here with all those veggies and shrimp and ham. And that made about over a hundred of those long sticks. So that's like 300 individual lumpia. Um, I made a small, yeah, it was a lot, a long time rolling. It looked fast, but it took a couple hours. Um, but I put, I scaled it down a little bit just in case. Um, let me check the chat box. It looks, it's so good. The bowl is huge. I know it's huge. Why is she petting, why is she petting the meat? I think she's just trying to get all the seasonings in there, Stephanie. Um, that's right, chef, don't mess with tradition. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Um, if you guys have any questions later on, put that in Slack. Do you have a question, chef? I got it, I do. Can you What's tell that? us about the wrapper? The wrapper. Can you tell us about that and where you get yes. it? Yes, I should have put a video because I just saw a video online about how they make them fresh. So basically, it looks like it's like a sticky batter, um, and basically, the guy who makes the lumpia, it's like a a huge flat top, and he takes a scoop of this batter and sticks it on the flat top and it just makes a really thin and crispy, um, not a thin and crispy, but a really thin paper like um, wrapper. You can get those at any Asian market, um, Filipino markets like Seafood City, but I got mine at um, what's called the Ocean Supermarket, which is just close by. But if you have like a Ranch 99 or any kind of Asian supermarket, yeah. I use the Tropics brand. Um, you, you can tell. So when you're, they're in the freezer section um, and you can tell they're the circular ones that look really thin, um, almost see-through. Um, if you get the ones that are like the Chinese or the Vietnamese, the egg roll wrappers, they're too thick. Um, and those are the ones that I like to use for the, um, the already cooked fillings. But for the, the Shanghai, I like to use the Tropics brand. Um, All right. So Tropics brand is good. Is it called Lumpia wrappers or is it called something else? Yeah. So it'll say like Filipino Lumpia wrapper or something like that. Something along I can't those wait. Things. I'm going to make this very soon. Oh, nice. <laughs> I've been dying to make, I've been dying to make egg rolls. I have a great Chinese egg roll recipe, but this has inspired me. I'm going to make your recipe. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. It's a lot oh. of chopping and a lot of stuff, but once you have it all done, um, it's perfect. Um, I put it in the recipe, but it wasn't in the video. If it's too wet because of you're using jicama and you're using um, like the, the shrimp, it might get a little sure. wet. So just add some flour or cornstarch in there to thicken it up. But that's what we did and it turned out great. It's great. Last question. What about sauces for dipping? Any recommendations? Yeah. So in the video, I use sweet chili. Um, I just use any, you can get that at any actually grocery <laughs> store in the Asian section. I use sweet chili. You could use sweet and sour. Um, what's also good is like, it's a soy sauce, sambal, um, vinegar, garlic kind of thing. Um, that's got really it. good, but good old sweet chili, even ketchup sometimes if you don't have I got it. I got a pro tip that I learned, you know, we're all used to having sweet chili at work, but uh, I went to get a, a new bottle for home mm -hmm. and I went on Amazon and it was like seven or eight bucks on Amazon for that big bottle that we, that we're used to. And uh, I yeah. didn't buy it. And then I went to the grocery store. I went to the Asian section. And it was two ninety nine at, at Safeway. <laughs> I got a big old bottle it was $2 and 99 cents. So don't buy it on Amazon. Go to the yeah. store and buy it. Yeah. They're readily available at any like major grocery store in the Asian section. That's like, um, like the Asian ketchup so oh also you could try it chef if you can find it but Jufron it's called banana ketchup Ooh, that stuff's good too with Olympia yeah 
<laughs> yeah, I need I need to get a recipe for the banana ketchup too. That's a fave. So oh, if you yeah. got one, hook us up. I, I don't. We just use that straight from the bottle. But if you come up with one, uh, let okay. me know. <laughs> I, I have a source. I have a, a very good friend of mine. She's an amazing chef in Chicago, and she's Filipino. So I know she makes it from scratch. I'm gonna hit her up this week. Awesome. <laughs> I'll let yeah. you know. Cool. Um, I need to try to go. Yes, Lauren, come back when everything's safe. We'll ask Viviana to put you through some more training. <laughs> Thank you. So I can try all your food. You got it. I'll make something up, Lauren. <laughs> this lift program, something. Yeah. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, this is going to be posted on our Slack channel um, for the recording. Recipe will be there too. If you have any questions, feel free to Slack me because I'm around. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good weekend. Great job, Jenica. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenica.